Apple has filed a patent for new gesture control technology. If and when it comes to market, its products will be able to read hand signals from users. So joining us now to talk about this 3D gesture technology is Dan Costa, editor-in-chief of PC Mag. Thanks for joining us, Dan. What is your take on this? Gesture controls are already being used by Microsoft with its Xbox Connect, also by Samsung. How important is this technology for Apple? Well, it's actually pretty important. It's a very broad patent. I was actually impressed with how broad it is, considering there's already been so much development in this space. But this is the result of Apple buying Prime Sense last November. They're the ones that developed the Kinect system for Microsoft. And it basically looks like they're bringing that same technology to Apple. And it should really open up a whole new, uh, whole new phase in technology evolution for Apple. Uh, they're doing very well with touch-based devices. They still have a very strong presence in keyboard-based devices. But there's a whole new category of devices that don't want to have the device in the room at the time or, or within contact with it. And uh, this will let users interact with those. And so given that fact, I mean, Apple, for example, files a lot of patents that don't necessarily make it into products that come to market. Do you think that gesture control technology will be something that comes in its next wave of products? You know, I'm an optimist. I think it will eventually find its way into the mix. So far, it hasn't had a huge response. The Kinect was a little underwhelming. Uh, pretty good for gaming, but not a lot of other uses. There have been other experiments like Leap Motion, which provides a pretty good gesture-based interface, but it's really only good for, for playing games and doing some art projects. But the thing about Apple is that they don't force interfaces where they don't belong. They never forced a touch screen onto their laptops because they didn't think that worked. Um, so I think they're going to wait and they're going to find where it really makes sense. I think it's going to go really well with living room computing. And talking about living room computing then, are, are there other areas where you personally think that this could end up? Yeah, I mean, the sensor technology can really fit into any room. You're going to see the sensor technology get built into your iMacs. They're going to be built into their laptops. Um, I see the sensor technology just being a, a dish, added to the TV and, and becoming an extension of Apple TV. So I think you're going to wind up with a hybrid approach, some gestures, some voice control. You're still not going to be able to get rid of your remote control anytime soon, but it's a good technology play for Apple. And do you, how common do you think that gesture controls will become ultimately in our daily lives? I think they're going to be in a lot of places that, that you don't normally expect. I mean, right now, I don't think you're ever going to want to dial your phone with a gesture control when it's just faster <laughs> to do it by tapping the screen. But if you're sitting on your couch and you don't have a device handy, um, imagine that for a moment, you know, and you want to be able to turn the TV off, you want to be able to navigate through channels, I think that's something where a gesture control could really work. Um, again, having the patent that's this broad is going to make Apple a player in this market for a long time. It's certainly something we're going to have to watch. Between that, between the fact that using your voice, uh, voice control technology, it certainly seems like we're moving into a home and a life of the future, something like a sci-fi movie from maybe the 80s is what I, is the thing that makes me think about. It's Minority Report <laughs> all over again. Exactly. Um, so Dan Costa, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day.